Greetings, everyone. I hope this day has been peaceful for you so far, and that it's a day that it will end in great and radical hope. Welcome to our class. And I say our class because it will be a joint effort, an interactive effort. I'll try to convince you, yes, you, that you are also an instructor and a class leader. More on Tuesday. I am class of 1977, Mars Hill College, history. I've been a bicycle racer, I am a photographer, I'm a classical piano music lover, spin class teacher, DJ, grandfather, author, and cancer survivor. Next thing we talk about is your technology. Check it out. Do not leave anything assumed. Does your technology access all Marcel sites like Moodle, self-service, email? If not, please spend the time required to get it updated or go by uh, IT and get a hotspot. They are free to, to rent out. There will be no excuses for not being connected. Let me know if you're having issues so I can ride herd on the IT department. Next thing, email. The only way that I'll communicate with you, except for this video, is through email. Do not go a day, please, without checking it. Next thing, uh, on the syllabus, you'll see that we have day numbers. These day numbers correspond to the, what's happening in the syllabus. Also, they start the uh, assignments and the files that you'll find on Moodle. So, on, like on day three, you'll look at the syllabus for day three. You'll find on Moodle documents relating to date that start with the zero three. So, it'll keep us all synced up. Next thing, if you want to get on my good side, tell me about the next science fiction writer I should read. My recommendation, recommendation to you is Octavia Butler. Or you may want to talk to me about that 21-year-old uh, uh, Matrix movie. Or you can speak Hobbit to me or Lord of the Rings. All these good. If you really want to be on the good side, initiate a office hour conversation with me, either in person or on Zoom. I will initiate them with you. Why do I have to be the one that initiates? Main topic that I'd like to introduce to you today in this video is something that is it terribly important. Please pay attention. It will be on the test. Religion is everywhere. I have 28 to 30 places where religion is uh, can be seen, smelled, heard, uh, perceived. First, calendars. Time is an invention. Weekends are a Jewish Christian invention. Holy days where once a week certain stores are closed and you cannot buy uh, alcohol in certain stores before a certain hour. This is, this is all religion, man. Christmas holidays, Christmas shopping, uh, Thanksgiving. Religion is all inter interwoven with calendars. Next one. I swear to God, whether you're a president getting sworn in or you're in the courtrooms, you got religion. Pledge of Allegiance. One nation under you know whom. If you've been part of an AA or 12-step program or know them, they speak of a higher power. Next, ever been ethical? Ever thought, what would I be, should I do? What would Jesus do? Then you are talking about religion. Uh, there are signs and sports, there's rituals, there's prayers. These are all things that you can observe and say, yeah, that's religion. Music, rock and roll, Kanye. Next, television series, Angels and the Demonics are everywhere. Religion is everywhere. Next, art, check it out. You got crosses, religious symbols everywhere. Language, from OMG to curses, I swear to God, I hope to God, Christ Almighty, these are religious in origin. Think about it. Next one, TV programs. I'll let you go there. Next one, buildings and architectures. You know, you often know a religious building by the way it's shaped. Did you know the Owen Theater used to be a church? You can tell by the shape. You can also see in architecture these plaques on a building. Glory of God, things like that. 
Those little green New Testaments that appear on campus every semester and the arrangement that Mars Hill University has with the Gideons to provide them? Hello, folks, that's religious. Next, let's go to your walls. Do you have anything religious on your walls? Do you wear jewelry that has something religious on it? You ever fill out these questionnaires that talk about your faith? Have you ever given an explanation to someone, even to yourself, for why bad things happen? You ever said, it must have been God's will? Everything happens for a reason? There's your religion. Ever been to a vigil? Candlelight vigil? Candles are religious. Hospitals are very religious places, if you just take the time to notice. Weddings and funerals, weddings and funerals. Good place to hear, talk, uh, be a part of the, the religion experience. You'll see religion on the highway. As you leave Mars Hill, go to Asheville. Look on the left, you'll see a big religious poster. Incense. You'll find religion in atheists who feel they have to defend their position against religionists. You got a religious conversation right there. There's a Christian nationalism, nationalism movement in the United States that says that America is explicitly Christian and not anything else. Explicitly Christian in laws and morals. And we should pay more attention to that, they say. Maybe religion is in your clothes. How you do modesty. Maybe it's in the purity pledges that you've heard about or signed. Religion is certainly in those public prayers, graduation, opening convocation, sports events. Religion is in the hate crimes against Jews, which are increasing, and Muslims, which have not stopped going down, not stopped going up. Religion is in prisons or wherever you see a chaplain. Religion is the, in the economy. If I started criticizing a certain capitalist structure, people would say that I am anti-God because the economy, as in capitalism, is a God thing, the hidden hand of capitalism, whereas communism is that God-less thing. Religion both ways. Religion is in law enforcement, signs they may wear, all kinds of things. It's on your license plates. Religion is in cemeteries. It's everywhere in pop culture. Did you know that religion was in that storming of the Capitol on January 6th of this past year? There was an actual prayer led in Jesus' name by some of the stormers in the main hall of the, uh, of the, of the legislature there. Religion is in your family. And how cool or not cool it is even to question your faith or to be a part of that faith. Religion is in films, movies. And finally, religion is in mindfulness techniques, techniques, yoga, all this stuff. Very, very religious, although we don't often acknowledge it. So what have I left out? Public schools, probably. Where do you see? Where do you hear? Where do you smell? Where do you wear religion? Extra credit for those who want to do some more work with this. Thesis. You may think that you're done with religion, but religion ain't done with you. Without a basic religious literacy, you will be at someone's mercy in conversation, in commerce, in the dorms. Religion is everywhere, so peel your eyes, open your ears, develop your imagination. Finally, last point, get this. Christianity does not equal religion. Christianity is but one religion out of hundreds. So when I say Christianity, excuse me, when I say religion in class, I do not, I do not, I do not mean Christianity. And I'm ordained as a Christian minister. And I hope you won't mean Christianity either when you say religion. This would be a very hard habit for some of us to break. Okay, nerds, see you Tuesday in class on time.